Tavach, this is Gemara and Rosh Hashanah, Dav Ches, the learning for this week has been generously sponsored as a schos for myself and the Yitara Chabura, that we should all continue to be able to learning and growing together day after day, Baruch Hashem, as we conclude the first week of Meseches Rosh Hashanah and go further and further. Of course, it should be as schos as a shidduch, we shall chayim in the version of Miriam Bashi, it's a gitl shandez of Hashanah, Magal, the Murchah bin Davashin, it's a gitl bas Davashendel, as well as a schos for we're holding in the bottom of Zayin Amid Bees. We're really about 10 lines in the bottom. First word line is Kachashiv. But let's go up a few lines just to get into the flow of things. The Gemara had a question, Mesve. It's about 15 lines from the bottom. The first one line is Kama. Shisha Asr Benisa Rosh Hashanah Lo Aimer Shisha Besiva Rosh Hashanah Le Shtei Halachem. So the Gemara is bothered. There's a Bryce that says that there's other Rosh Hashanahs. Again, our Mishnah had four, and now we're going through other lists. So the Gemara's Kansha is Lurava List Ni Shisha Lanach Biyitzik List Ni Chamisha. Based over the previous Gemara, Nach Biyitzik says we just list the names of the months and that which is within it. And Rava said we list all of them. So according to Rava, we have another two. We have six. According to Nach we have another one. We have five. Answers the Gemara Amar Abab Kika Chashim Midi Dechayel Me Orta Midi Dechayel Me Orta Loi Ka Chashim, and that's we finish with the Teretz with the answer of Rab Papa. Says Rab Papa, our Mish, our Mi, our, excuse me, not our Mish, our Mishnah's list of Araba Rashi Yishanim. Where did Araba come from? Things that begin at night. We know in general the Jewish day begins at night. So things that begin at night, and let's just give the simple example. The first is Rosh Hashanah for Shtarois, which was kings. Of course, the new rain begins on the first of Nisan. And that's when the new year begins. And of course, that will begin at night, like all the dates in the Jewish calendar. Whereas on the 6th of Siva and the Rosh Hashanah of and the 16th of Nisan, Rosh Hashanah those are karbanos that are brought during the day. So our Mishnah only lists things that begin at night. Asks the Gemara of Ari Galim Dol Chalimi Orta, the Kachashiv, the Mishnah lists in Regalim, and Regalim aren't at night, the karbanos are by day. Answers the Gemara, Kim Chesarach Lasui Meikara Mechayev Ekoi. When are you Mechayev in the Carbon. It's true. You can't bring it till the morning. But when are you Machayev in the carbon? You're Machayev me orta, like Rashi says, Misha Kiddush Hayoim. You're Machayev as soon as Yantav begins. And therefore, that's the reason when you make the nedra, I should say, and therefore that begins at night. Ask the Gemara another question from the Mishnah. Yoival does not begin at night. And yet we listed it. Answers the Gemara, six lines from the bottom. When does Rosh Hashanah, when does Yoival begin, excuse me, it begins on Rosh Hashanah, which means it begins the night prior. That's the first Eretz. Says the Gemara, another Another reason. Now we're going back. Rabbapa had Teretz number one. Why wasn't Shtei Alechem? Why wasn't the, excuse me, why wasn't Rosh Hashanah for the Omer listed? What was our Papa's Teretz? We only list things that begin at night. Now we have a second Teretz. Says Rav Shisha, four lines to the bottom. Rav Shisha, Braid Rav Idi Amar, Kika Chashiv. When did the Mishnah list Arba Rosh Hashanah in Midi Dlotali Bimaisa? Things that happen automatically. They do not need your human. Um, intervention. The things that you have to do something like a chashev are not listed and therefore again the carbon the shtei are things that humans you have to bring that carbon. That's the reason why we do not list it. Let's just see one Rashi. Rashi, four lines to the bottom, says, Says Rashi, Meaning it is an action that needs to be done. You have to bring the Oymer, you have to bring the, the, the Kipsi Aseris. And therefore those were not listed in the Mishnah. Back into the Gemara, two lines to the bottom, asks the Gemara a similar question to but what's going on when it comes to Regalim and Rashi again in the last line points out that we're referring to what's going on to the bringing of the carbon on the Yantif and it doesn't happen until the Tomit Shal Shachar well those who were together on Psachim and Yuma of course we know that the first carbon of the day is the Tomit Shal Shachar after the Tomit Shal Shachar then you could bring the carbon of the Yantif so Regalim when does that happen only after the Tomit Shal Shachar who brings the Tomit Shal Shachar so you see it 
Mishnah requires human intervention, and yet the it is listed. Answers the Gemara in the last line about the Achar Mimila Chayil. About the Achar happens on its own. It's true that the carbon perhaps cannot be brought until after the Tamil Shal Shachar, but the moment it becomes Yantiv, the moment that the day is Yantiv, starting at night, of course. And it's on that does not need human intervention. There is the din of Baal Ta'acher. Ask the Gemara further on the top of Chesam and Aleph. Today's daf. Vare is What about Yoivel? What's going on? What happened to Yoivel? Yoivel as well. Like we said before. Yoivel is something that requires human intervention. Ask the Gemara, Rishol ben Aisha Rechem and Breika. You were going with the opinion of Rabbi Yishmael ben Aisha Rechem and Breika. Who said... Who says that Yevil happens automatically as soon as Rosh Hashanah happens? As soon as Rosh Hashanah, even, whoa, excuse me, we're having technical difficulties over here. One second. Excuse me. One more time. Let's get everything back in order. One second. Apologies. That never happened before. Okay. Let's uh, get back to it. Says, says the Gemara, we're going with the Rishmah B'nai Shabrach Rambayka, that holds that it happens on its own. Says the Gemara, I'm sorry, we're having issues everywhere. Here we go. Back to everyone. Let's go. Says the Gemara of Rav Ashi Amar. Says Rav Ashi, this is Teretz number three. Again, Teretz number three. We started off today with a question. Why didn't the Mishnah list Rosh Hashanah for the Karban Why didn't the Mishnah list the Shteha Lechem? So, so far we had two Teretz. And Teretz number one was if we only listed things that started at night. Teretz number two was we listed things that did not require human intervention. Teretz number three comes in Rav Ashi Amar. Arba Rosh Hashanah named She. Says the Gemara, excuse me. We're talking about the four times, the four and the four months, and therefore didn't have to list the carbonite, or didn't have to list the Shtei Alechem, because they already listed those months. Ask the Gemara one second. You're going with the first of Shvat. You're going with the Pinna Beishamai? Says the Gemara, no, let's try one more time. Hachi Gemara. Shloish Ladivri Akol. Of course, Beisel holding two Bishvat the 15th, and Beishamai holding the first. And that is the conclusion of the second part of the Mishnah. And now we continue with the third part of the Mishnah. When the Mishnah had a machlekes with regard to Meiser Behema, we had the two opinions in the Mishnah. The second opinion in Nuah says the Gemara, five lines down, Chesam and Aleph, Rav Lazar, Rav Shim, and Aymrim, Be'echad B'Tishrei. It begins in the first of Tishrei for Meiser Behema, Amr Rav Yechlan, Ushneim Mikra Echad Darshu. Says Rav Yechlan in classical Gemara sense that Rav Lazar, Rav Shim, and the Tanakhama are both learning out the same basic, one basic, the Gedarshan in two completely different ways. Shanam Marit says in the Tyra. It says, excuse me, I shouldn't say it says in the Torah, it says in Tehillim, Love shu karim atzayim, that the sheep are wearing clothing, va'amakim yatvu var, and the valleys are wearing themselves with food. Yisrael o'u ap yashiru, they shall joyfully and they sing. So the sheep are wearing clothing, the valleys are full with food, and they're singing. That's the Pasik. Rameir Sabar and Rameir Darshins. Comes like Rameir. Rameir was the first opinion in the Mishnah. Says Rameir, I must say, love you, Karmat Sain. When do the sheep, when are they get called, quote unquote, dressed? Bizman, Shamakim Yatuvar. When the valleys are filled with food. When is that? When are the valleys filled with food? Badar. That's in Adar. So that's when the sheep are, quote unquote, Dressed. What does that mean? Misabaros ba'adar. That's when they become pregnant. Viyoldos ba'av, and then they give birth in av. If people are wondering, one second, there's only six months over there. What happened to the nine month giving birth? So Rashi over here points out that an animal takes six months of small animal to give birth, and therefore back to the Gemara, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah shalem elul. So they give birth in av, and therefore Rosh Hashanah is going to be elul. And this is the first opinion of the Mishnah. This is the opinion of Rabbi Meir. Rav Lazar, Rav Shimon, Oimrim comes along the Rav Lazar and Rav Shimon. And they say no. They learn the Pesukim in the opposite. Again, we have one Pesukim that says the animals are quote-unquote dressed. There's another Pesukim that says the valleys are filled with food and everyone's happy. How do we learn up these Pesukim? So Rav Meir says, when are the animals dressed? When do, they get, when do they become pregnant? When the valleys are filled with food. And therefore, six months later, they give birth in Av. What's the Rosh Hashanah the next month? El. Comes along Rav Lazar, Rav 
love Shimon and they say no. A must they love Shin Karim Sain. When are the animals dressed? Bizman Shiru Ab Yashiru. When we're singing, when we're shouting with joy. A Masai, when is that? Shibalim Aim Shira. When do the Shibalim, when do the crabs, when do the grains? When are they singing Shira? When are the grains very happy? Bin They're happy in Nisan says the Gemara. Why? Because at that point they're ripe and they're ready for harvest. Misabara is bin Nisan. So what that means is that the animals become pregnant in Nisan. And now go six months later again, because animals take six months to give birth. Rosh Hashanah Shalem is Tishrei. So Allah's Rav Shimon say, no, you have to learn the Pasuk a little bit differently. When the animals become pregnant, when the storks are singing Shira. When are the greens singing Shira? When they're ready for a harvest. Six months later, they're going to give birth in Nisan, the animals. The Rosh Hashanah is going to be Tishrei. So therefore, Allah's Rav Shimon says, Rosh Hashanah. Tishri Rameir says it is in Elul. Vedach Nami asks the Gemara, how does each one learn up the other part of the Pasik? Vedach Nami, Hoksiv Yisrael, oh, Af Yashiru. What do they do with the part of the Pasik that says that they're shouting joyfully? Aho, Ba'afilasa. Though that is referring to the late crop, that is referring to the animals, they become pregnant late, which is the Havim bin Nisan. Those are the ones that come early, that they become pregnant in Adar. And therefore, each part of the Manda Amar learns the other one, referring to either the early or the late. Says the Gemara, I understand that. I understand that that's the normal way. Vikanami Yisrael Av Yashiru. According to our mayor, the Pasuk is being read straight. And then there are the late ones. That's the Yisrael Av Yashiru. That's the later ones. Elor of Lazar Av Shemin Ibchami Ba'ilei. It should have learned the Pasuk the opposite. Love Shukar and Atzayin. When are the sheep, quote unquote, clad? When are they dressed? Bizan Shir Yisrael Av Yashiru. Vikanami. Damakim Yatuvar, which come early. So according to Lazar Av Shemin, the Pasuk is in the wrong order. Again, each one's learning the Pasuk referring to the sheets become pregnant, either when the crop is ready to be harvested, or it's referring, which is, which is, excuse me, which is, uh, which is in, uh, let's not go through the months, get everyone confused, which means six months later the animal gives birth, and therefore we have a machlek as, what is the first year for the Meiser Behema, when the animals give birth? Is it Tishri or El? How does each one learn the other Pasik? We're running into a bit of an issue. It's about the early or the late ones. Okay, that's very good, according to Ramayer. For Lazar of Shimon, the Pasik is backwards. Ella Amai Rava, therefore comes on Rava and says, a noob shot in the machlek is Everyone agrees that we read the Pasik straight. Ba'adar, that refers to Adar. And the Machlaikis of Lazar of Shimon and Rameir is a different Pasik. And again, we're trying to figure out when is Meiser Behema, when is the new year for Meiser Behema. Says in the Ta'ira, Aser to Aser, you surely have to give. Meiser for the entire crap. Why did the Torah repeat the word? Bishnei Masra Yisakasim Edaber. The Torah is referring to two Meisers. Echad Meiser Behema, Echad Meiser Dagon. Referring to two different Meisers. Very simple. Meiser Behema and Meiser Dagon. And now we put the two together because that's Ser Taser. It says the two of them together. So Rameir Savar Makish Meiser Behema, La Meiser Dagon. Ah, very Gishmak. The Meiser Behema is like the Meiser Dagon. Ma Meiser Dagon just. Like when is the when is the meiser of the crop is samach legamra yisurai nearby the completion of the crop is going to take a meiser and therefore samach legamra yisurai that's what mayor says that's going to be tishrei we know back we're actually not back we're going to see soon that tishrei is the new year for the crops tishrei is close to the time that the crops are going to be complete because it's in the the whole summer they're sitting there to dry and therefore says. Rameir, we go with Tishrei. They're followed by Meiser Behemoth, which is going to be an El. Av Meiser Behemoth, Zaman Ligama Yisurai. So to Meiser Behemoth, close to when it's going to be complete, when they finish giving birth. Therefore, it's going to be, which is an Av, the next month is going to be the new year, which is El. So Rameir is saying Meiser Behemoth is like Meiser Dagon. Rav Lazar, Rav Shimon, Sabri, the opposite. Max Meiser Behemoth, the Meiser Dagon.
Excuse me, I'm sorry. The same thing. They're both equating Meister Behemoth to Meister Dagen. There's a different way of equating it. Rav Lazar, Rav Shimon learns, Ma Meister Dagen, Rosh Hashanah Shaloi Tishrei, and Meister Behemoth, Rosh Hashanah Shaloi Tishrei. So the question is, how comparable we could say is Meister Dagen and Meister Behemoth? We'll start backwards. It's a bit easier. Rav Lazar, Rav Shimon say, there's Oto Tavar. It's the same thing. Taser, Taser. When's the first year? When is the new year for the crop? Tishrei. As we're going to see in a few blots. So to from Meister Behemoth, the exact same thing. Very simple. Ramir says, no, that's not the equation. We're equating Meister Behemoth to Meister Dagon, not that's the exact same date, but that in concept, it's the same. Just like my Meister Dagon, it's Tishrei, because that's near the time that it's complete. So to by the animal, it's near the time that it's complete. When do they give birth? And half. therefore comes along Ramir and says, the new year is going to be in Tishrei. And that's the maskana of the machlekes between Rav Meir and Rav Lutz, Rav Shimon. When is the new year for Meiser Behema? And now we continue that Be'ach of Atishrei is Rosh Hashanah L'shanim. That the first Atishrei is Rosh Hashanah for a new year. Perhaps this is the most famous of all of them, says the Gemara. Lamai Elchasa, with regard to what Allah does it mean that Tishrei is Rosh Hashanah for the years. Amara Babel is Shtarais for Shtarais. And everyone here is screaming, Shtarais! The face! We didn't say it's Tishrei, it's Nisan! Vitnan, let's let the Gemara develop itself. Shtarich, I've amukdam sulam hamuachar and Sherim. Early Shtarais are possible, late Shtarais are kosher back to the face. We spoke about this extensively. Vatnan, I'm going to do Mishnah Bechel Ben Nisan, Rosh Hashanah Lumlachim. What a minute. Our Mishnah said the first of Nisan is Rosh Hashanah Lumlachim. Asking the Gemara, Vam Rinon, and we explained the Daf face. Remember that first Rashi, Kaloimar. What's the practical ramification? Why do we need a standardized date for the kings? And we explained them, Rav Chisel So what's going on? Rav Chisel on Dav Beis that Shtaris is by Nisan. Now on Dav Chesper saying Shtaris is from Tishrei. Like Kasha, everyone, I can anticipate this answer. Kalamachi, so Kalamachi, Umois Ha'olam. Different kings, Jewish kings are Nisan, Gaish kings are Tishrei. We can remind ourselves of the whole fasting Machlek as of Daryavish the second, Artar Chasta, different Sukkot. In Nisan and Tishrei, we said one is before he turned bad, it went from Nisan, he was a good guy, his king, so went from Nisan, one is after he turned bad, so it went from Tishrei. We brought multiple rayas that he went bad, but now says the Gemara, those are the two Mishnahis. One Mishnah is Tishrei is going to be bad king, is Gaish kings, excuse me, Nisan is going to be Jewish kings. Ask the Gemara one second. Allahu Dhamma Rav Chis, we already learned this back in Daf Gimel. Rav Chis said, Loi Shano El Machi, Sal El Machi, Umas Oilam, Mish Tishrei, Minyanam. Rav Chis, Mas Nitan, Asal Hashminan. What's going on, Rav Chis? is repeating the words of the Mishnah. The Mishnah said we're explaining what that means. It's for Gaish kings. Rav Chista is coming to teach us a Mishnah. Answers the Gemara Lai. Rav Chista Kroya slash Minan as we saw back in Daf Gimel extensively. Rav Chista is coming to teach us the Psukim. We learn that from the Chemi or Tachshasta etc. That was the novelty of Rav Chista. Viva Yisema second way of learning it Rav Chista to Rav Zera Master. Rav Chista is going with Rav Zera. What's Rav Zera? Rav Zera Amar Litzkufa Rav Zira says that what's Tishrei the new year? Not for Shtar Reis for Gaish kings, but rather with regard to the seasons, based on the calculations of the solar year, the, the lunar year, all begins from Tishrei. Saret's number two. Rav Lazar Amar and comes vi Rav Lazar he excuse me and that's what the opinion Rav Lazar Amar Tishrei Nivraya Olam when was the world created Tishrei so Rav Chista is coming along to explain therefore we're going to count the years from Tishrei. So that is the beginning of the solar lunar calendar because the world was created in Tishrei. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak has another shot. This is a third shot. What does it mean that Tishrei is Rosh Hashanah for the years? The Amar, Ledin. It means for judgment. Of course, the most famous shot. Rosh Hashanah, judgment is on Tishrei. Dechsev. May Rosh Hashanah Bar Rosh Hashanah. May Rosh Hashanah for the beginning of the year. year Nidon Ma'yi B'Saifa. We're judged what's going to be at the end of the year. Ask the Gemara, Mi Ma'yi Tishrei. Who do you know that's Tishrei? Dechsev. Tegu Ha'chad Hashayi B'Kas Le'im Chageni, the Chagenu, excuse me, a very famous Basik. Blow a shofar at the Tinku Bachaydi Shaver, blow the shofar back, Kesayim Chagenu, when the moon is covered. And now the Gemara Darshins, Ezehu Chag, what is the Yamtif moving on to Chesim and Beis? Shachadish Miskasa, boy, what is the Yamtif, excuse me, that the moon is. 
Covered, Rabbi Oimer, Zeh Rosh Hashanah. This is the only Yad that is at a time when you don't see the moon. It's at the beginning of the month, if you never thought about it. All the other Regalim are in the middle of the month. Rosh Hashanah is the only one that's at the beginning of the month. That's what we know to refer to Tishrei. Uksev and the Apostlik says, Ki chogli yisrael mishpah lelkei yakoif. It's a chayik, it's a judgment. That's what we see that Rosh Hashanah is for Shanim, is for Din, says the Gemara. That's when the world is judged. And now the Gemara continues on that theme. Theme, Tanu Rabban, and three lines down, Chesim and Beis. Ki chogli yisrael mishpah you know this teaches us God only stands in judgment God only, God only judges us after Bezdin down below makes the month holy says no you know we learned at the Pasek it's a chayk for Klai Yisrael we only know that Klai Yisrael is judged on Rosh Hashanah how do we know the Gaim are also judged on Rosh Hashanah Therefore, the Pasuk continues the judgment for Gakoyf. So what's the first part of the Pasuk? We are judged first. There's a time that the king has to be judged. The king is judged first. Ladin Shenemar Mishvad Avda Mishvad Amoy My Taimo. What's the reason the king gets judged first? What's the reason that Klal Yisrael is judged first? Iba Yisim Alavar Charu Le Mekam Alchei Avroi. What you let the king wait in the waiting room while you have a judgment? No way. If the king is judged, he comes first. Similarly, Klal Yisrael gets judged first. Iba Yisim A Segim Shat Mak Me Delay For Charu Enaf. Klal Yisrael gets judged before quote unquote Hashem gets angry. Hashem could get angry after judging, as Rashi says. Avoy Nisat Zibur after judging the whole world. So Klai Yisrael gets judged first. All the fascinating ideas with regards to Rosh Hashanah were judged at the beginning of the year. A third shot, what does it mean that Rosh Hashanah for Tishrei? Perhaps the most famous shot. And we continue that what else is the first of Tishrei? It's for Shemitin. It's for Shemitah. Minal, and where do we know this from? The seventh year of this year should be Shabbos for the land. The seventh year of this year should be Shabbos for the land. How do we know it's Tishrei? How do we know it begins in Tishrei? The word Shana, Shana, Shemitah, we learn now from a different possible from the beginning of the year. Ask the Gemara, how do you know it's Tishrei? They should ring a bell from two days ago of Limer Ashana Shana Mi Nisan. Maybe it should be Nisan. Actually, from yesterday. This is the flip of yesterday's Gemara. Here we're talking about the word Shana. There's no Chadashim mentioned with the word Shana. So you have to know where to darshan it just from another possible that says Shana, which is Tishrei. When it came to Nisan, what did the Basic say? And therefore, therefore, that was the Gemara yesterday. That was a drasha talking about Nisan because said Chaydesh and Shana. Here we're looking for a makar for Shana for Shemitah. They're just Shana without Chaydesh. That is why. Tishrei. And the mission continues. What else is Rosh Hashanah? What else is happens on Tishrei? Yoivlois is the first year for, is the new year for Yoivlois. Says the Gemara, Yoivlois be'achem b'tishrei hu? Yoivlois be'yod b'tishrei hu? What's going on over here? When is Yoivl? Not the first of Tishrei. Yoivl begins on Yoim Kippur. On the 10th of Tishrei. The Chseva Zatayra says, Yom Kippur, Yom Tavir Shafer, that on Yom Kippur you blow the Shafer and that's when Yoivl begins. So why you tell me Yoivl begins on the first of Tishrei and it begins on the 10th? And Answers the Gemara Hamani one line before the white lines. Rav Yishma ben Aish Rav Yechman Broik he did Tanya v'Kidash the Mishnah as Chamishim Shana says that we should make holy the fiftieth year. This referred to Yevel Matamalai Mar. What does the Pasi teach us? Of course we know Yevel is the fiftieth year. Levish and Amar because it says Yom Kippurim because it says that it should begin on Yom Kippur. You should blow the Shofar. Yochel I would think Loiti Miskadesh as Elo Mi Yom Kippurim says the Bryce that you would think but Yom Kippurim to have Yerush. Shaifer, that on Yom Kippur on the 10th, Ahavamina, that's when Yevil begins. Ve'eloch, Tam Alay Mar Vikidash Mishas Chamishim. Therefore says the Torah, no, make holy the 50th year. Melami, that teach us in Miskadesh as Vailachas. Miskadesh as Vailachas. That it comes holy. And keeps going, Mitzchilasa, from the beginning of the year all the way from Rosh Hashanah. So the Havamina was, it starts from Yom Kippur the 10th. Kamash Malan says the Basik, no, Vikidash Tem, excuse me, Kamash Malan says the Basik. 
Now, Hidash them, yes, Shnas Chamishim, it begins at the beginning of the year in Rosh Hashanah. Mikan, Amrish, Shal Ben Hashem, Rechem, Braika, this is where he learned out that what? We are Shana, Yom Kippur, and from Rosh Hashanah until Yom Kippur, what happens? Lo, Yavadim, Niftar, and Lebatim, the servants, the Allahis and Yavel servants go free. But from Rosh Hashanah until Yom Kippur, those 10 days, they don't go free, they don't return. But Loi Mishtam, and Adunayim, but they also don't work for their master. They're in limbo, it's quasi world. El, what do they do? Oich, Lemish, Yom Smechem, they sit, they eat, and they drink, and they're happy with Rasein Barashayim, and they're wearing their crowns on their heads. And then Kivish Yom Kippur and Tiku Bazdin Bashayver Bazdin blows the Shayver Nifto Avadin Lebateim. Their servants go back home with Sadais Chayzeres Lebaleim, and their fields turn back to their home. So Rishon Ben Yehuda and Boikah is saying that Yevil begins in the beginning of Tishrei, and that's the Din in our Mishnah that Yom Kippur that Yevil really begins on the first of Tishrei. Then you have everyone waiting until the tenth of Tishrei, and then they go home on Yom Kippur. Says the Gemara of Rabbi. What did the Rabbanan do with the Pasik of Vikidash to Meshnaz a Chamishim Shana? Says the Gemara Shanam Atomikadesh, Viatomikadesh, Chadashim. You sanctify the years, Chashnaz a Chamishim Shana, but you don't sanctify months. And we're going to pick up from here tomorrow as the Gemara continues darshaning when exactly Yevil begins in year 50, 51. It goes early, it goes late. Yom Kippur begins before night. We'll get into all this tomorrow in Mirza Hashem.